Hey everyone, Ed here from The Great Indoors. Today I'm with Michelle at Burlington Mall. But for those Paul Blart Mall Cop fans, we are at the West Orange Pavilion Mall. With that being said, Michelle and I are a huge Paul Blart Mall Cop fan. With us visiting Foxwoods and the in the Boston area, we just had to check out the filming locations to this awesome movie, Paul Blart Mall Cop. And we are in, and there you go. There's the sign from the legal seafood that was here when the, the movie was shot. And like I said before, they are coming back. And so that's going to be cool to see the legal seafood back here at the Burlington Mall for the filming location of Paul Blart. And this is where he drove that scooter through this area over here with Amy in tow to the entrance in that, that mushy scene where and they're riding together and he's he fractured his rib. And he's actually slipped off of that thing and twisted his ankle oh. when he was doing that, Michelle. And it was right around here. He was doing the loop de loop around here. Yeah. And he actually fell off of it yeah. and twisted his ankle. And the rest of the movie he did with a messed up ankle on that. Yeah. Something that you would do, hey, Michelle? Yeah, well. yeah. You want to ride on my scooter and put your... There you go. This movie portrays a down-on-his-luck security officer, Paul Blart, played by Kevin James, and his struggles to raise his young daughter, Mia, which is portrayed by Rainey Rodriguez, with the help of his mom, played by Shirley Knight. His lonely long-shot persona makes him a guy you just want to root for. Even though he botches up every attempt to find happiness, he is put in a position to save the day and get the girl. In the movie Mall Cop, they are setting up for, of course, Thanksgiving and the Christmas season. And as you could see today, in 2022, we haven't even approached Thanksgiving and they are already set up for Christmas. And that's where they're going to be having Santa Claus, where you could meet and greet Santa and tell him what you want for Christmas. Now, I, I'm pretty sure that in the movie, this is the same location for where they had the stage for their Santa greed in the movie. Just like now, they, it's pretty much in the same place, in the center part of the mall, more or less. Okay. I am joined by Michelle, and she's got a still. Here, bring that up over here. If you guys could see that real close, the way he's in a chase scene with the blonde-haired terrorist in back. And I'm, where that guy is back there is kind of like where the terrorist would be. Try to line that up like that with that. What do you think? Is that a match or what? It's, it's not a match, but it's as close as... I, you got to figure that this railing, like you see over there, is that railing over here. Now, it could be angled in that direction, but I don't think so. The railings over here are too similar. And with, if it's the Macy's in back, like I'm, I'm showing you there. Paul Blart, Mall Cop, Little Known Facts. Early in the movie, we get to see Kevin James' wife, Stephanie De La Cruz, and his two children. At his house, you may end up seeing a picture of Paul Blart's um, ex-wife. That actually is Adam Sandler, who is the producer of this movie. And later on in the movie, we actually see Kevin James, his brother, Gary. He always wanted to be in a movie, and this was his chance. They doctored him up a little bit, but yes, that is Gary James, Kevin James' brother. There's a scene with the terrorist guy that I was just showing you that they were on the roof of the building and they end up falling through a, a ceiling light and into a ball of, like a bin of balls. And I scoured the entire place. And, you know, let's face it, um, nowadays having kids jumping into a bin full of balls is not a, a very sanitary idea. So you're not gonna see bins of balls anymore in any type of public environment. So that is not here anymore, obviously. 
but Michelle's going to show us Victoria's Secret where the fight scene was and with I, Paul Blart trying to break up those two women that were fighting over that push-up bra, right? Yes. All right. And I think this is where he got, where he was trying to get the senior citizen in the wheelchair. Yeah. Where he was trying to say, you're going too fast and he's hiding somewhere. That could be, you, you may be right on that. Michelle's got a better memory than me. I do not have any of those clips on me. They're all back at the office. So, but that very easily could be true. And we are coming up to Victoria's Secret. I do believe this is where Vec and Paul Blart are stationed, hiding out, waiting to bust someone. Man comes by on a scooter down this aisle right over here and they pull him over and give him a, a citation for speeding with his uh, electric cart. I don't think it may be this store over here where they actually get pulled out in front of. I believe this is it where the old man gets busted by Paul and he eventually evades him afterwards. Pretty cool. Twist it, feel the nub. <laughs> okay, we're in Victoria's Secret, and it, Michelle, you I, remember that scene vividly because you could understand that woman's yeah. anger because of the fight over the bra. Yeah, she wanted him to hold the earrings, and then yeah. she decked them and everything, and I believe this is probably right in this vicinity over yeah, here. Yeah, it, it's changed around a lot. It, yes. the, the, the way everything is, is set up and everything, but there are the push-up bras that... Uh, that they probably would have been fighting over over there. But again, there's push-up bras and, and different things all over the place. I am not a push-up bra expert, okay? So, Michelle, if anyone would know anything about it, let's not scare people, okay, Michelle? Put those boobs away. <laughs> but this would be the location of the fight scene between the two women that had to be broken up by Paul Blart. Victoria's Secret here at the Burlington Mall. Awesome. The hallway to everywhere. Down here, there is the management offices, but I'm having a feeling that this is the doorway that they come out where they slap the door, honor and respect, and they go out to the mall this way. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's also the same hallway that Vec and Paul go down after he gets beat up at Victoria's Secret. Well, that clip was quick. Um, bottom line is I stumbled upon this hallway by accident when I was looking for a bathroom. And I saw all these doorways and um, office space back there. It was a neat little find. I have literally have talked to two different mall cops that work here, asking them for my help, for, for helping me out on finding out the locations, and none of them knew anything about any of the filming locations. Just that they remembered that there was a movie shot here, and these are older security guards. They would definitely know, you would think, about the Paul Blart legacy over here, but no. And if I was trying to get the one woman to let me see the security office that was used in the movie, but she wouldn't let me back there. She wouldn't even let me take her picture. But she did tell me that there is some, like a plaque or some type of information in the food court that talks about this. So I'm going to go find that food court and bring you guys back. While checking out the filming locations, we were looking for a plaque at the food court and we haven't been able to find anything resembling a plaque commemorating Paul Blart Mall Cop, but they do have vanilla milkshakes here. So I'm gonna have to get that. That would be awesome. Hey, Michelle? All right, here's the milkshake. Michelle didn't want anything, and that's, I'm proud of you, Michelle, for not wanting anything. 
It's not good for you anyway, but it's good for me, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, for $8, it better be good, right? <laughs> I am guessing that the scene where the, the uh, SUV was parked, where he rides into it, with this car is in this mill area because of the amount of size that is required area for that type of a scene. So I'm thinking that this was it. Very center. I'll try to match it up with the actual pictures from the video. Paul Blart, mall cop. And there are the escalators that he is in. The, the guy jumps, they get, they, they're riding their bikes on the upper level and they run, jump off, and they catch Paul on the, in the, um, the escalator, and they try to take him down over there. So I am on the upper level over here where all that went down. And I'll insert a video or a picture of that happening in the movie on top of this. But this is where it all happened, where they had those escalators where Paul Blart was being accosted by the terrorists here at Burlington Mall. But they actually made it out to be where it was in New Jersey. But no, this is all in Massachusetts area, a suburb of Boston area. There's a scene early on when he gives Amy a ride on his little scooter thing. He comes out there through the doors and he drives down and the parking lot is empty because pretty much everyone has already gone home for the day comes down this way and our car is parked pretty much in the spot where Amy's Ford Mustang is parked and he tells her about how the Mustang is is uh, named after a plane of all things and that's pretty cool Heading out of the doors, out of here, and so Michelle, what did you think of the filming location of the Paul Blart movie here at the Burlington Mall? That was pretty cool. How uh, we found almost everything to their scenes. It, it was, was tough great. because there was so. Much, I mean, as we stand here today, there's changes still going on here with this place. You know, the legal seafood, I guess, is coming back. They're creating an outdoor patio over here. And this Fogo Chow is going in next to that. So a lot of changes yet to happen. A lot of new stores are going to be coming in here next year. So if you think that it's changed a lot already, it's even yeah. going to change more. I'll say one good thing. At least you videotaped what we did get to see. Yeah. And we'll go from then, today, until now. That's right. Thank you again for watching the Great Indoors filming location of Paul Blart Mall Cop here in Burlington Mall. Stay safe, everyone. Bye. Bye.